Tekken 8, which has been eagerly awaited by hardcore Tekken fans, is currently in development, and several trailers have been released one by one, generating excitement since Bandai Namco Entertainment announced its future release in late 2022. An announcement regarding the release date is expected in the upcoming weeks or even days, possibly EVO Japan, with the game set to launch in late 2023, hopefully. Last week, while I was speculating about what could be the full upcoming Tekken 8 roster, journalists and gaming influencers were invited to the game's global debut in Lyon, France, ahead of the of the EVO, that will take place March 31st to April 2nd. Many had the pleasure of interviewing the legend Katsuhiro Harada, game director and chief producer, translated through producer Michael Murray. Especially with the technology that we have now, where it's like so far beyond where Mortal, when, when like Mortal Kombat was making those full 3D games. I mean, you see it with Tekken 8, just the, the technology is unbelievable now what you could do with it. Even though I'm slightly jealous of the interviewers, they did an excellent and professional job, giving us fans some real details and insight into Harada's creative and legendary mastermind. Trailers and interviews can only provide fans with so much information, but the first trailer release in September 2022 clued us in on characters Jin Kazama and his estranged father Kazuya Mishima, and how they will be battling the devil gene they both inherited. Tekken's longtime creator and producer, Katsuhiro Harada, has earned a reputation for crafting a rich and intricate universe of characters and stories within the Tekken franchise. It is this attention to story detail that makes Tekken an exceptional and beloved franchise, although sometimes feeling like it's taken a backseat to Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Considering the hype and attraction for Tekken 8, we believe 2023 or 2024 will be the year for Tekken when it's finally released. Switching from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5, the team has gone back to the drawing board to redesign every character in a way that is noticeable. While the fighting genre has fallen behind on the graphics front in recent years, and Mortal Kombat 11 arguably taking the lead in terms of technical prowess, Tekken 8 is set to impress everyone. Harada said himself, quote, You could kind of maybe just not evolve it that much if you really chose to, and the gameplay still stands up. But it's not a very interesting choice, and that's not a very interesting way to live your life either. Some players are obviously going to buy the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, which is, you know, a pretty big investment, and we want them to feel like, yeah, playing Tekken 8 on that for the first time was totally worth the investment I spent in the new generation hardware. End quote. In my opinion, the footage that has already been released so far is one of the best showcases of what next-gen consoles are capable of, especially with the new engine to match. In addition, the load times are much shorter allowing you to jump right back into a rematch after getting your ass kicked. Murray quoted, You're mad and salty, you want to jump right back in, right? In general, Tekken 8 represents one of the biggest graphical leaps in the series, and promises to be a visual masterpiece. Our favorite aspect of the Tekken series is that it has always focused on providing a detailed and realistic representation of various martial arts styles from around the world. For example, each character in the game has their own unique fighting style, which is often inspired by real-life martial arts. We do know throughout decades, Harada and developers of Tekken have consulted with martial experts to ensure that the moves depicted in the game are as accurate as possible. The Tekken franchise has been influential in the fighting game genre and has inspired other games and developers. For example, the game's use of 3D graphics and its sidestep feature, which allows characters to move around each other in a circle, have been widely imitated by other games. It's clear that 3D fighters have lost some popularity in recent years, but with the buzz surrounding Tekken 8, it's poised to make a triumphant return, a reinvigorate the genre in a big way. I'm sure I'll receive some angry comments from fans disagreeing with me here, but the new heat system looks dope, and I'm here to support their theme of rewarding aggression. I trust Harada and Murray to go in this direction. There's something cool with the idea of torturing the opposing player because they feel helpless at that moment of attack. However, after watching a few hours of leaked gameplay, I don't know if I need to see more heat system footage. I just want to play the game now, or I want to be flown out to France on a private jet for a secretive influencer meeting where I can chill with Harada and Murray and play this game against others. I do appreciate the deep dive videos on gameplay, but Harada said himself, Tekken is not all that complicated despite its elaborate terminology and mechanics. For the casual player, it can almost feel and look intimidating, but that is not the goal of this franchise. 
When you're in the heat of the moment with both rage and unused heat at your disposal, the thrill of landing that crucial strike is an adrenaline rush for any beginner or advanced player. It is impossible not to be excited or captivated by this beautiful, action-packed game that is coming, Tekken 8. Despite the hype surrounding the upcoming release of Tekken 8, we are all familiar about fair and valid criticisms, like character designs being too anime and gameplay being too overly aggressive. However, it's important to recognize that there's always a percentage of criticism that is motivated by a desire to see the game fail. What has engaged many new fans of the franchise, in our opinion, was when Tekken 8 released the trailer reintroducing the iconic character King, known as the Anger of the Beast. Even Harada hinted in one of his interviews last week that King is possibly his favorite character overall. King's moves set in the game feature some of his well-known moves from WWE, such as Pedigree and RKO, which adds to the excitement of his return. King has been a prominent figure in the Tekken franchise since the release of the first Tekken game in 1994. As a luchador, he is trained in the style of Lucha Libre, a type of wrestling that originated in Mexico. Lucha Libre is characterized by high-flying maneuvers, acrobatics, and rapid sequences of holds and counterholds typically wearing colorful masks and costumes, keeping their identities secret from the public. King is inspired by the Japanese pro wrestlers Satoru Sayama, who is best known for creating and portraying the original Tiger Mask character in the 1980s. King is also inspired by famous Mexican wrestler Frey Tormenta, perhaps known for his work with disadvantaged youth in Mexico, and for the 2006 film Nacho Libre, which was loosely based on his life. King has become a fan favorite of the Tekken franchise, known for his modern minimalistic appearance and his showboat set of moves. Now you understand the deal about King, if you were curious. If you would like to see other videos on game previews and news, please subscribe and drop a comment. We'll make a point of responding to every comment that is mean or nice.